now this is interesting. Uh, yesterday I got that little Molly Miller Blenny, and you could see his tail kind of right there. He was over here on this corner just a few minutes ago, and what I saw made me run out and grab my camera because I wanted to show something. So I haven't even had this guy for 24 hours yet. And yesterday I showed where he was sitting back here somewhere and there was an aptasia right on the glass there. Well, it's not there now. So they typically don't just vanish like that. Uh, so I'm looking around and I think that is it right there kind of clinging to life on that strand of hair algae. So how did it get from the glass onto there? Well, I'm wondering if that fish took a bite out of it. Uh, maybe, you know, they do have a taste for Aptasia. Didn't completely eat it, but that's certainly, uh, you know, promising that it would have shown interest. Now, I didn't see it happen with my own eyes, but I don't know. Maybe these fish do eat Aptasia. There he is right there. And I will definitely keep my eyes open and find out what happens. But that's kind of a just interesting coincidence, I think. All right, so I took a little clip earlier of this tank, and I was over here about a half an hour ago feeding this little guy a couple pellets, and 100%, without a doubt, there was a big old nasty Aptasia just sitting right there. Come back over here, and it is nowhere to be seen. Now, those things just don't get up and leave like that <clears throat> so I don't know I'm wondering is this guy actually eating it I haven't actually seen him do it but it's a bit much of a coincidence that there was that one on the back wall it's gone it's possible that that's it back there because there's definitely one sitting on the glass back there I'm going to keep my eye on that see if that disappears back there on the bottom it was a big old nasty one right here, which is now gone. And 100%, there was one right there, which I no longer see. So that's just too big of a coincidence that, you know, Aptasia, which is like one of the worst pests you can get, are all just magically disappearing, you know, once I put this fish in there. So I'm going to keep my eyes open and, you know, let's see what happens. Let's see if that last one that I could see back there mysteriously disappears. And if you're doing this for me, buddy, good work. All right, so it is the next day, and I am just checking out this tank. And let's check out back there where yesterday, 100%, there was a big Aptasia sitting right down there. And again, it is nowhere to be seen. So, I think I'm ready to call it. I'm pretty sure this guy is eating those Aptasias. I mean, I haven't actually caught him on video doing it, but too much of a coincidence. There was one on the back wall, it's now gone. There was that big one up front, right there, that's now gone. There was one back there by the heater, that's gone. And there was one sitting back here, right in front of that pipe, which is now gone. So that's four nice-sized Aptasias that have just disappeared out of this tank. They don't normally don't just do that on their own. And they had been in here for weeks because I had seen them. 
only thing different is I've added this guy to the tank. And if you do some research on these Molly Miller blennies, uh, you know, they are reported to eat Aptasia. And I think I must have gotten lucky and gotten one that does. So good job, little guy.